Hey Craig, did you get enough candy for the Halloween party? Yep, I made sure to get the good kind. Great. I'm just hoping this party turns out better than last year. What happened last year? A couple of trick-or-treaters stole all the candy and vandalized the restaurant. Let's just hope that doesn't happen this year. Okay, everyone, gather around. It's time to tell a scary story. Aren't we a little too old for scary movies? Shut up, Ed. What's this story about this time, Dad? Have any of you heard of the Nipple Bandit? The Nipple Bandit? Who the heck is that? Well, the Nipple Bandit was a psychotic killer who went around cutting off people's nipples. Ew! What kind of sick fuck does that shit? And every midnight, he comes after his prey. <laughs> That sounds horrible, Phil. Relax, Ed. It's just a story. It's not even real. I don't know about that, Phil, because I just checked the news and it's talking about the Nipple Bandit being on the loose and to stay inside and lock the doors. So the Nipple Bandit is real. There's no way he's real. It was just a story. Somebody, please open up. Let me in. Oh my gosh, his nipples are gone. I, I have no idea. I didn't think he was real. Well, we have to do something, Phil, because he's clearly real. Okay, okay I, I have an idea. We just need to make sure all the doors are locked. Is everyone ready? Yep. I'm here to collect some nipples. Now bring them to me. Everyone get ready. I said bring me your nipples now. <laughs> wow, you guys actually got this, man. Good job. When I get out of here, your nipples will be mine. You hear me? Ah, <sighs> thank god this is over. Hopefully, they'll keep that psycho in there for good. At least there's still some candy left. Before any one of you think about touching that candy, clean up that mess or you're fired! Oh man... <laughs>